Welcome back. It's time for some GR Friday nights. We're going to play some uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare mm -hmm. on Xbox One. Of course, as always, add a GR Friday nights, uh, this time on Xbox Live, because we're playing on Xbox. But before we get into that, uh, I just want to show a short video. We had a, a cool live stream uh, where we gave a lot of uh, prizes away. One of the prizes we gave away was a very cool jacket that's called the Hero Jacket. That's only 75 made in the world. We've got a little video about uh, about the jacket. About They were here in Copenhagen uh, painting, and we met them at a, a launch party. Uh, so I'll show that first, and then after that, we'll get into the game. So you still have time to, to add us to your Friday nights on Xbox Live. But here is the video. Uh, we were contacted by Thomas, uh, Greyworks Denmark, um, to be involved in this project uh, with Activision Blizzard. Uh, and they, they wanted us to create a custom camouflage design. So that was the starting point. And then from there, we created, uh, we took the world map and uh, started overlaying it and mixing it and creating this camouflage design that then became the basis for the hero jacket. Yeah, so as well as the camo, we wanted to use some of um, the logos from the game and the logos from our normal work plus the patterns. So our uh, schnooch and layer is our logo, so we kind of incorporated that into one of the patches as well as some of the stars and the, the arrows that we normally use and then obviously some of the logos from the, from the game. Yeah, so the fact it doesn't take Call of Duty obviously doesn't really um, affect the way we feel about it. Obviously it's our logo and our pattern and things, so we're quite happy about that. On the patches and things it does say the um, it's Call of Duty and Grey Works and things, so there is the reference. And in the film there's some, there's some references to it. But um, in general it's quite cool that it's you know, a little bit more subtle, a bit more guerrilla marketing, sort of not so in your face. Kind of, you know, there's enough yeah. trailers out there that if you want to see a Call of Duty trailer, you can see a Call of Duty trailer, so it's a bit different. That's it, the collaboration was kind of was trying to mix the art side of it with the game and with the other aspects as well. Uh, and they wanted us to really bring our side of things to this project rather than just being a direct uh, Call of Duty and sort of an immediate and uh, quite a uh, Obvious. Quite an obvious yeah, connection. Uh, connection set, yeah. Yeah, so we've always played Call of Duty, you know, it's some, like, um, some of the things we sort of do as downtime, we sometimes in between ideas and things, play a bit of Call of Duty or different games and just kind of uh, distance ourselves from what we were doing in the, in the day and just try and relax a bit and then come back to it later on. So it's, it's always kind of been in the background, something that we've like to, uh, to do and hopefully we forget one of the games and we'll carry on doing it. <laughs> yeah, so when the call came through for us to, to be involved in this project initially, it was kind of a bit under wraps as to who the client was that we would be uh, creating this camouflage design for. And then when we found out, uh, we were obviously really uh, eager to, to be involved and uh, to, to see where this would take us and, uh, and how our design and how our artwork could kind of uh, become something that would be linked to such a big game like this. Uh, so it all started out uh, with us creating the design and then um, cutting the stencils and making a, a unique canvas which is uh, on display across the road. And um, when we were doing that, we had two guys come and, and film us, uh, created a really cool film that documented the process of us cutting the stencils, making the canvas, uh, which then became the artwork for the hero jacket. Um, so it's quite, yeah, it's quite cool that from that to the journey to Copenhagen for the launch um, for Scandinavia and then with the, the hero jacket that's on display tonight, it's just really nice to see it in a different um, environment and a different sort of setting, not something you'd normally associate with a game release maybe and it's just pretty cool to be here. Yeah, and we did a skate ramp as well, which uh, I think has been documented. There's some photos and there's some footage of us being there and uh, uh, spending the, the large part of an afternoon just trying to, uh, with all the elements and with the different conditions there, um, getting a larger version of the canvases that you can see behind us and across the road, um, which is now just open to the elements and to people going and skating on it and uh, just turn it into a new piece of art that's kind of interactive with those that ride it. So yeah, we've uh, we've always been a fan of Call of Duty and played all the games. 
So uh, one of the things we're really looking forward to is getting the, the, new, the new copy when it comes out and hopefully uh, have some time to play it. Yeah, it's very, really exciting to be involved in this project. Uh, Call of Duty is such a massive game and it's always sort of something that everyone looks forward to is playing a new one and it's a game that you can play like we play it together uh, when we've got a bit of spare time and then oh, online yeah and online so uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a great project I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing getting the feedback and what everyone thinks of the game as well yeah All right, that was the video. Mm -hmm. Congrats again to uh, Lauwitsen94, who won the jacket. Um, we're sorting out the sizes and all that stuff now. We hope we can, uh, maybe we can get a photo of him with the jacket. That would be cool. All right, so we have the Xbox One on here. I'm just going to sign us in and check that we have, if we have some friend requests. Uh, you have now gotten further than I did in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I think I want all the consoles. I am very happy with the PS4, but uh, it, I think this is more confusing when you start out. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I, I do get that. Uh, I'm still not 100% sure about how everything works, but... Uh, it's, it's not just me being dumb. No. <laughs> not, not just. Not just. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I can sort this out. Now there's it's tons of pressure. Uh, yeah. On, Oh yeah, we actually have a lot of famous Call of Duty people on our friends list here, funnily enough, because we've played, very cool thing, last uh, spring we actually played with um, uh, one of the pro teams, and they, mm -hmm. like two weeks after, ended up being the European champions and, and qualifying nice. for the World Championship, TCM. That was pretty cool. But all right, this looks pretty good. We're going to jump in. Hope everything works. And I'm going to, the magic moment yes. where I pass on the controller. Okay, uh, this is so, Ingvi, this is your first time actually playing the new game. Yeah, yeah, this is the first time. And I think this is going to be... Um, we're going to spend a lot of time learning to appreciate the new kill cam. Yeah, I think. The old kill uh, cam is back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, so... But you've, you've played a bit of Call of Duty in the past. Yeah, Not okay, a lot, yeah. but... Uh, Hasn't everybody. You know how the gun works. Yeah, yeah. This is the running around bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. I no, that's actually <laughs> the look one, isn't it? The thing that's always funny, like with playing something for, for me for Call of Duty and FIFA and other things I play a lot, where then people, wh which button does this? And I'm like, I actually don't know. I just press the, you know, the button. Yeah, it becomes automatic. Yeah, yeah you don't think about it. All right, so we go. I guess we. No, well, let's jump into the multiplayer. Yeah. You're a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll take a look at it, and then it's going to be fun to see how you feel about the new the new movements, and it's it's, yeah. it's a lot faster. So we'll go into the slide, yeah. Yeah. And I think we should just we'll jump into a game first, and then uh, we'll see if someone wants to join us. I think if you want to play with us, if you want to play with Ingrid, you should uh, write in the chat. Would probably be the best way. Let us know. Yeah. And then add us on Xbox Live. I promise I'll be gentle. <laughs> <laughs> So, what game modes do you usually play when you play Call of Duty? Uh, I play usually Team Deathmatch. Yeah, that's. I think that's yeah. a good way to start. Yeah. Maybe free fall if you're if you're confident with that, because mm. uh, then you, the team won't pull you down. But uh, no. Yeah, that's like sort of the simpler way to get into it. The best thing about you know uh, the free for all Deathmatch modes, I usually manage to end the game without spending a single shot. That's you know. Really. Or just, or just spray around everywhere. Wow, that's know. impressive that's, actually. Yeah. The thing I, I, I do like about uh, free fall as well is I, I I feel with that you sort of just have to accept that you're gonna die. Yeah. Uh, and it, and go it, nuts. Oh, error. Let's try again. Are we getting um, more connection issues? Sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, but you, I feel like with that you need to be very aggressive, which I am. Mm. That's one of my problems. I play too aggressively yeah, generally. Yeah. So I actually have that problem as well. Oh, there we go. Hey. Actually, we should maybe check out. We, we I played around earlier today, yeah, and some interns did. We earned some stuff. That's one of the new cool things. I think we got loot. Nice. One of the things you can get in loot drops is like outfits. I don't know if that's the way to call it. helmets right. and stuff. And you can get special guns, and you mm. can get a supply. What is that? Supply drop is the loot name. Then there's. I don't know. There's another thing where you get a, like a sort of a care package in the game, right. uh, which then it says two minutes or five minutes into your next game, you'll get a care package, and that could be a turret right. or a helicopter. So you can get one of the cool kill streaks just by playing. But uh, maybe go back 
And then go into... Uh, press B. Yeah. And then go into Operator. Operator, okay. And go into Customization. Uh -huh. And then, I, I don't know if you want to be a male or... Yeah, I'm usually a guy. Sure. Cormac is actually pretty cool. It's, it's a tough dude. These are, of course, all the guys from uh, single player. Some this of them are cool. And then if you go into Custom Outfit, the, the first one... Wait, why can't I... Do, 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 do. Oh, is it back? Like, what? No, it should... Huh. Is it locking up? Let me try. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. We're having problems. Uh, so it's I think you should go through these and, and sort of pick out what you want. Of course, right. now with the helm you have, you won't be able to see. Oh, the we're having connection issues. Server is not available at this time. Please Let's try again. Yeah. Right. yeah, but are these uh, are these purely cosmetic or do yeah, they change? Yeah, they're cosmetic. The right, only okay. thing that's sort of the, you earn the like normal stuff, and you can earn stuff through playing the campaign and, and things like that yeah. as well. Is the helmet you have on now is actually sort of special. <coughs> the stuff you get, you you keep except. I don't know if there's extra stuff, but the stuff I've gotten so far that you don't keep is the bloodshed outfits. Right. Uh, okay, we're Let's trying to change the network. network. Right. Um, mm. So the bloodshed helmet you've gotten is from going on a five kill streak in the game. Right. If you get a ten kill streak, you get I think the next thing is uh, the arms. Mm. Fifteen is the legs. Twenty is the boots, and then twenty-five is the armor. I think it's something. It's something like that. So you earn the bloodshed stuff by getting on k doing kill streaks, and uh, then you lose them after 30 minutes of, of game time. Right. Okay. Uh, so it's cool to have on. I wore it a lot in the beginning, and a lot of people did, but now I don't wear it because then after a couple of matches, you're like, oh, now the helmet have reset to the default, and I have to go in and change it. Everyone is wearing it anyway. Right. Um, and I actually sometimes I want to wear a helmet where I see the goggles I put on or or something. I don't think we'll have to worry about you know 10 kill streaks. <laughs> Anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see. Oh, we got a message here. Oh. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's set this up first and yeah, we'll get yeah. to it. Um, and all this is cosmetic, but I think it's really cool if you do well and it's, uh, you can use, you share your cool stuff. And you know, like uh, you have the three sort of settings that you often have in, in loot, like yeah. the legendary or exotic or whatever. Here it's enlisted. Uh, professional and, and elite. So if you got some right. rare stuff, and you can earn it, you can earn it by playing, not necessarily by doing well, except the bloodshed stuff. Yeah. So even if you just play a lot and don't do too well, you'll you can show, hey, I found this cool thing. Uh, so I think that's I like that a lot. Cool. Uh, so after that, maybe you want to set up your class. Yeah. Create a class. And of course, you're level seven, so you don't have a lot. Right. Um, but three guns. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. that's three assault rifles, and if you use oh, the right. bumpers, you have the other ones. There is one gun that's better than the other ones at the moment. Okay. There's situations where you want to use other guns, yeah. uh, but the BAL-27 is the best gun in the game. The BAL-27. So, and that's right. you have from the beginning, which is great. So I think you should use that. Of course, now we have the custom class, but you will have like other ones that you can choose from. There's yeah. always five other I ones. I guess the fire rate is the thing that does the difference. Exactly, and does quite a bit of damage. Uh, yeah. AK is more precise, um, but uh, yeah. it shoots slower. And, and the recoil is not too bad on a bell, especially if you have some attachments. But So let's check the attachments on that. I don't think we have unlocked it. Oh, we have the oh, foregrip. Red outside and foregrip. Yeah, that's pretty good. The foregrip yeah. is, is the way to go. Yeah. If you do ten sh hand shots, you get the quick draw, which I also recommend. Mm. There's actually a really cool new thing on on the guns in this uh, new Call of Duty that I love. Uh, you know, people tend to use silences, then they don't pop up on the minimap. You actually have an attachment you can put on your gun where they didn't pop up on your minimap, which oh, I right. love using. I think you should remove the stinger. Remove the stinger? Yeah. All right. The, what they've done now is you have the pick 13 system. Uh, so you have 13 points for everything. Right, okay. So I wouldn't, I would actually, for, to begin with, don't put a gun on there. Let's see if you have right. extra, you might Just have because you don't have unlock. Go back and then uh, um, here you press. Personalized firing range. Clear X. Yeah. Ah, oh, then I have a combat knife, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so right. check the first perk. First perk, lightweight. Uh, that's and pretty good. Low, that's really good as well. I Invisible tend to UAVs. run with that. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Blind eye, undetectable by. Tracing drones, explosive tracking drones, drones. Yeah. Uh, tracking drones. That's pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. Of the ones you have, I would probably use that if you want to use a yeah. perk there. I don't think that's necessary. And here, that's the one where I think you need to run to, and you can't do that until you rank up a little bit. But I think toughness is the most important thing. Yeah. Uh, the other one that's really good is Blast Suppressor. Whenever you use your Exosuit and boost around, it shows on the minimap. You, you show where you are, right. and that's hides that. So that's I always run those two, like 9 out of 10 times at least. The, those two, yeah, yeah, and toughness. Mm. And you, at the moment, 
You need to unlock a wild card, you see those down at the bottom, to yeah. have two perks in a slot, and you don't have that yet. Maybe go over perk three, greed, and see when you uh, unlock that. Greed? Uh, this one, yeah. Yeah, so the, you unlock those at level 17. Right. So maybe we'll un unlock it. Yeah. Um, cool. Then there's the X ability. Mm hmm. X ability. X shield ability. is pretty cool. You pull up a shield, you do it way faster than you did in the old Call of Duties. Right. Overclock. Uh, is you run faster, mute devices, silence your footsteps, that's your mm. dead silence perk. Exostem yeah. is the one I would recommend. If shield could be good as well. Temporary regenerate. All right, okay. And you also re regenerate health faster. Okay. More health than you regen cool. faster. Cool. Uh, score streaks on the side. Score you have plenty streak. of points, so you should probably put on a secondary gun as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you want to use any of those. I think one thing you could put on is uh, try to go back out. Mm -hmm. A new thing is you can press Y on each kill streak. All right. And the thing you can put on here, for instance, is that it's a support kill streak. That means your points doesn't reset when you die. Right. At the moment, it costs 400 points in the game that is in a team deathmatch. A kill is 50 points. Mm. If you add support, as you can see in the down lower, it's another 300. Mm. But if you feel like I'm not going to get that amount of kills, you also earn points by doing assists and other stuff. Uh, that's a good way of doing it. All right. Uh, and Maybe not that. all kill streaks have that, but some of them do. All right. Uh, the support turret has that as well. Uh, mm. It also has a uh, well. I think the rest you should figure out what you want on. It, it might you can put another nade. You could put a secondary on. You could check out the wild cards you have now. Right? I think you actually have one where you can run uh, two primary weapons right. if you wanted to have both an assault rifle and a submachine gun. Oh, but then you cool. might want to change, uh, delete a uh, score streak. But we'll see. Yeah. Oh. How many points do I have? You have. You see the top. You have two left. All oh, right. Okay. So check the wild cards and see if there's something you want there in the mm. bottom. Well, got that. Uh, uh -huh. So you have overkill Kill. that makes you run uh, two primaries. You have primary gunfire, which makes you run three attachments instead of two. Mm -hmm. And then you have tactician, which makes you run two exo abilities instead of having a grenade and exo ability. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the overkill. Yeah. I would, that sounds like a smart one. And, and if you go to the sides, you could put on a submachine gun, yeah. a shotgun, or a sniper or something. Mm hmm. I'm not going to go with Sniper. <laughs> and that's, uh, for me, it's been harder in this game. Yeah. Um, maybe to go with a submachine gun? Or maybe a heavy weapon. A heavy weapon, perhaps. Is it damage, accuracy, fire rate? I think, it, I think you should try the EM-1. That's a, EM -1. Diff, that's a fun gun that's different than new in this game. And it's right. decent. No, and you need no, to yeah. do kills to unlock yeah. anything. So this, you could right. say, if I would probably recommend you remove the, wave, uh, the Warbird. Right. And then do another grenade instead. Clear. And another grenade. Yeah, if you just press next to the grenade, you get another one. All ah, right. So I would probably cool. do that. Cool. And then All right. And then another then. cool thing you can do in this game yeah. that I really love is you can always, at any time you're in these classes, press this button. Yeah. And then you jump into a firing oh. range and you can actually try your guns. You go into any of these if you go forward. Rip you spawn things to shoot at. And each of them have different like setups of, of enemies to shoot. And you could, for instance, press Y now, and you could try the other heavy gun, if you want to see how that is. So this is the laser gun, direct energy beam. Ooh. You can actually hold it in, and it will keep firing. It will fi fire forever. There's no reload, but it can overheat. It will, yeah. So there's never re uh, like a reload thing on it. Uh, if you just fire a little bit, let it cool, then you never have to spend time on that reload. Right, thing, which, right. which sort of changes the way you can play with it. That's cool. Which button was grenades again? So oh. at the moment you have uh, you have you know shoot and aim on yeah. the and then these are your the bumpers are your abilities. I think left is your exo ability and right is your grenade. And that's where you could change to have, you can, uh, there's the tactician you have now, mm. you could choose where you have two abilities. You can also change it to have two different so, sort of grenades and then don't have a ability and then it would have nades on both or right, abilities right. on both. Okay. But yeah, and then when you feel like you're done, you'll press the option button again that's and then you'll jump back in. Yeah. So you could, cool. I've, I've done that sometimes, especially at the actually pre-launch events where you're like, oh my god, I want to try all the guns and see yeah. how they are. And do I want to have a grip on or do you want to have quick draw or red dot and all that? It's really cool. I think that's something that I should have done before we started this week. Yeah, but it's good for, <laughs> good for people to see how that works. Yeah, I think, of course. Because I, I, maybe I didn't show this as much when I played it at the launch because right, yeah. I've played it way too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's... let I'll, I think you should play around first and then we'll see if people are for playing yeah. with you. Yeah, so fine match. Yeah. And 
Team Deathmatch. Yeah, that's probably a good way to start. Yeah. Uh, where do I go then? Oh, oh it was just cool. wait. And the other cool thing is, for instance, now you jump into a match, but then when you are done with it, you always have that mini where you wait for the next mm. match to load. Now there's a voting system where you can vote on different maps. You can go into your classes and change that, and you can go to the firing range and practice while you wait. And you can also actually see what outfits and guns the other guys in the lobby have. So you can check out right. who has cool helmets, yeah. what gun are they rocking. So if you keep getting killed by the same guy, then you could check out his... Yeah, uh, but that's before each game, but it's cool to, to see. Okay, a general tip for, for Call of Duty is what you're doing now. Run on the outskirts of the map. Because yeah. if you run through the middle, there's a bigger chance of getting shot in the yeah, back. And then, of course, look at flanked. the mini-map. So have your buddies dog. near you. Yeah. Whoa! Nice! Hey. Melee kill! So you found that button. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same one in this yeah. thing. It is. Yeah. That was cool. Check on your right someone. here. Yeah. So you look, there is one. Got one. There's one in there. Oh, spot. damn it. And of course, uh, you have the jump button like you always have on A. If you yep. double tap it, you double jump. Oh. And then, uh, can cool. We, and then try to jump and then press down the left stick. That was an enemy, right? I think so. We of course have all the annoying people on Xbox yeah. Live, like you. Uh, we sh almost should have that there. What is it? Left is run. Yeah, left stick is, is sprint. If you press down on the right oh. stick, you boost in the direction you press it in. If right. you press forward and press the stick down, you boost in that one. It's a really quick way of getting forward, and it's a great way of, if you're in a, in a fight with someone, you shoot a bit, dodge to the side, and then they miss you, and then you can shoot him. Mm. You dodge into cover, dodge out. Oh. Great. And as you can see, you can get around the recoil with this gun, like by not, like by tapping yeah, a little bit like you yeah. did. Yeah. I usually do that in pretty much every game. I'm being manhandled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how far I can jump. Yay! Yeah. Falling damage? No. Okay. And I'm lost. Oh. Yay! Doing I, pretty well. I got something. Yeah, you're doing pretty well. Huh. Your your team is a bit behind, but uh, then not really your fault. Well, I'll be a donkey's uncle. There's one. I'm gonna try the. Uh... Oh, nope. Yeah, I I think you should stick to the stick bow. to the yeah. The other thing is I've actually for sometimes decided you know I could run with two guns, run with just one because then I can pick up the enemy's guns if right, right, cool yeah. quicker. You can of course do that still, but then you have to change to the second one to cha flip that out. Where if you have only one gun on and you pick up one, you just pick it up instead of throwing down one. Right. Um, but yeah, I think try to get used to the, the, the dodging and all that. Did I switch back to the... Uh, yeah, you yeah. have the... Right. You start with your bow every time. Okay. I thought I had to switch switch it back as I, you know. All right. Cool, cool. No, damn it. I did it again. Yeah. <laughs> There's one. See how the boosting can be beneficial? You, they, he yeah. got away from you really. Now, he, right. now I have no idea where he is. That oh. was, I think that was a good test. I think you yeah. should check out uh, one of the new modes or one of the ones that are back. So, yeah. back we have Hardpoint, which could be fun to check out. New mode, you could try Uplink. And then we have CTF back. We have uh, Momentum could be fun to play. So one of those I think we should check out. Maybe Uplink is the is the right most fun. Three and five is not too bad for your first game. Oh, oh. got some XP. <gasps> so Let me see. this is always a little bit slow for me. You just yeah. press back. Yeah, it's 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 pretty slow. And then press back. And yes. yes. So that's right. a fine match. Find a match. And I'd say either hard point or Uplink would be fun. Hard point or Uplink. Let me see. Capture and hold hard points to score. First team to reach the this score. This is King of the win. Hill that moves right, around. Right. Uplink is the ball game. Right. Throw a carry the satellite drone to the. Uplink Let's try ship. that out. Yeah. That's actually that's that's the like most different new yeah. sort of thing. So you have your own zone, and then a ball spawns in the middle. It's often you know sort of your zones are sort of on one side, and the drone is sort of on the other side. Mm. Um, and then pick up the ball, throw it through the enemy's portal for one point, jump through with it for two points. When you pick it up, you lose your gun while you have the ball. 
but you gain a little bit of shield. So one thing that started happening very quickly is people throw it to the enemy as well. Because right. then if I see you throw it to the ball, you, you lose your gun, then I can shoot you and pick the ball back up. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, that <laughs> happened to me like the second time I played the game and I was like, what happened? Because I'm just like shooting so and I was like, what happened? So you're going for, 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 for the ball, but at the same time you kind of have to dodge it if, they, if you see them throwing yeah. at you. Yeah. I didn't do that. Oh. The other thing is you can throw it to your teammates as well and get around Sounds kind of like Quidditch with guns. It is. <laughs> And if there's one thing Quidditch needs, it's guns. It's guns. <laughs> <laughs> and robot exosuits. Yep. <laughs> but it, it's it's fun. It's a little bit chaotic and very fast paced. But um, I think it's if you accept that you're might gonna die a lot if you get, try to go for yeah, the ball. Yeah, I've, I've already accepted that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun. I th I have a fun time going for the ball and then you die a lot. It's also a good way of like kill whoring because mm. people run for the ball, they can't shoot back at you. Right. Right. Yeah. You can see here it spawns right. right in the middle because it's sort of a linear game. You have your zone here, their zone is at the other end. But can you can you melee attack while carrying the ball? I or don't think so. I actually don't know. Oh. The times I've gotten the ball, I've actually just run straight for the zone. Yeah, just gun for it. Yeah, because I or I like run back and try to hide behind my teammates. Yeah. How did you say I boost again, just uh, vertically? Jump. Oh. You you have to be in the air. I think right. you might be able to do sideways if you're not. Jump so and then jump. press the right stick in any direction. Right, okay. So jump and oh. uh, double jump is probably the best. Ah, yeah. Right. So generally try to double jump and then boost forward is a good way of practicing and then try doing sideways. So it's double jump. Oh yeah. nice. so maybe try to get on a roof or something, get a good Yeah. I think uh, oh. either you should go for the ball or you should maybe play some D and, yeah. and protect your, your own zone. Or just a guy. Yeah. Ah, no! I remember you have the stim, so it, whenever someone, it, if you're like weak, you can always put that on and get more. Probably want to huh. reload now. Yeah. No, that was changing gun. Yeah. This is reload. No, yeah, yeah. that's reload. Yeah. <laughs> now reloading and crouching. So where's the ball? Uh, if you look ah. on your minimap, and yeah, in the zone as well. So defend. We have to protect that guy now. He's about to score. So if you have his back, he's yeah. about to score. Great. You're up 4-0 already. Good job, Ingvi. Oh. Yeah, it's all <laughs> thanks to me. <laughs> I'm doing all the work. Of course, your stats might not be good, but you know, st stats sometimes lie. I did play a pretty good human you, shield there, for actually, that guy. You don't, get, you don't get points for that part, but that was actually a really good play of you because you helped him protect him while... If you are there next to him shooting, they need to shoot you first before they yeah, shoot yeah. him. So that was actually nice. That was completely unintentional. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's you know. All right, so uh, I would probably, a, if I was you, I would probably get up on the roof here on right side or left side and sort of mm -hmm. go back and forth there and play some D. Play some D. Nice. He got my buddy though. Oh, there you are. There you're, we go. you're good at those. <laughs> <laughs> There's another guy coming oh, in. you. Yep. Uh, there's like these reps, bleeps on the minimap when they're jumping. It's rocking the AK-12. Oh. So, oh. Look, oh, they dropped the satellite. I would go back. You could also go into the building, maybe? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can I go up? No, no. you can't go okay. up. You can, if you drop down, you can go into it. Right. But you should probably go back ah. to your base, because they're about to score now, actually. My base is in this direction. Yes. Yeah. You can see through the walls where it says oh, right. yeah. Kill. and kill. Yeah. Upload. And if, if the ball is dropped for too long, it gets respawned in here where it's actually now. So you can try to pick ah, it up. Grab it. Oh, okay, right. And then Not follow just him. defend that guy. Yeah. So I would run to the right. Oh. See, he was just waiting. Yeah. Oh, he was actually reloading, so. I really appreciate the kill cam, though. Yeah, you, you I miss that in Destiny to. and other games yeah. that I play. It's, it's a good way of making people not camp. Yeah, yeah. At least they have to be a little bit smart about moving around if they, if they want to camp. Yeah. That one is an insane pistol. I, I, yeah, it it's is. like, some situations it's terrible, but I got a version at, when I was playing at Sledgehammer, yeah? where I, in a drop I got one that already had a built-in scope and a different skin and stuff. Right, and that basically was a sniper, which meant I could have a sniper secondary without using the overkill perk, and you lose a point uh, wildcard without you know that spends another point. 
And it was for me, it was actually better than the sniper that was like the primary one. Right. It was insane. And you pull, you know, pistols up faster than than rifles, so it was just it was a crazy gun. It's a one shot kill kind of thing. Yeah, and it's, it, that made me really love the whole supply drop thing because it means that. I would probably never have tried to put a scope like that on that pistol, but because I found it in a drop and it looked cool, I was like, oh, let me try it. And then it was really great. Mm. All right, so the ball is actually free in the middle of the map. Oh, he got away. Go inside to the right. Yeah. Oh, okay, now they picked it up. Oh, 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 oh. They're defending themselves uh, so now. Oh. Those situations, I would say run a little bit forward and use the ability to get your health back. Mm. Which button is that? That is the left one. The last one, right. But you're nine and one before the halftime. Five seconds left of this side. A blink. The ah, there's the defend guy. On our left. Oh, switching sides. Yeah. I love that card he has there. Yeah, that's that's, that's cool. another thing you can change. You can design your own logo and put on yeah. your your guy as well. Which I need to so do. Can you just uh, create something in Photoshop and upload it? Not to in Photoshop, it, but there's a pretty elaborate uh, implemented there in the game. Right, right. Which is brought back. And I think Black Ops Two was the first to have a really good one. Yeah. And as like it's like symbols and m things you can move around, but and I, like what people create there, I can't create. It's insane what people can create. It was just like some lines and stuff, and then they make it look like real stuff. I have. Oh, that's the sniper. I have two nades. Why am I not using them? Yeah, you're saving them for it. It's also like it's that thing. Some people chuck them out just in the beginning, and that could be good. Oh, always oh, stomp you. Uh, but it's also then you might, if you survive, you might actually have um, then miss them when when you have a, an opportunity where you really need them. Right. Yeah. And it's, I think it's interesting how different the grenades are now, because well, you're like shooting them out of yeah, your arm instead. Okay, so he's going for a base now. Defend that guy. Yeah, so if you stay here, maybe. You maybe see mm -hmm. him on the left. There he is. Oh, clutch move. Ooh. Oh, shit. Okay, we're that was invite. So we'll invite people afterwards. Swedish Iceman yeah. to play. So after this, we'll, we'll invite some people. No! That's good. Hang back, don't rush too much. Yeah. Uh, just gonna get into position. And we download it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so what happens here is a lot of people, now you didn't get shot from the roof, but a lot of people are on the roofs now. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if it's, I haven't played in the last couple of days, but it was it was interesting to see like the first day people were like figuring out what to do, then the next couple of days, everyone was on the roof, <laughs> which meant it was actually good to just stay on the ground and run around. Yeah, do, a nice. do something a little bit different. Oh, now you have it. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the opportune player to be no, <laughs> handling <but> the ball. <laughs> but if you're not a good slayer, that might be what's good to do. Oh, yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Get him anyway. Get him anyway. No. I sprayed everywhere around that guy. Yeah. Yeah, as you may have noticed, I'm a kind of a PC player. <laughs> <laughs> How is that for you playing on a, with a controller? And like, I I love it in uh, adventure games and stuff like that. But yeah. first-person shooters and strategy games, it's just no. They are mouse and keyboard kind of things yeah. to me. But I guess that's one of those, you know. Matters of taste. Yeah, it's it's weird because I do way better with control than than, than in Yeah, like we played Titanfall on stream here, on PC, and I like plugged in a controller. <laughs> oh, I got promoted. Yeah, <laughs> who made that decision? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's whenever you get enough XP, you get. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you've you've been playing quite decently. I mean, your team is up 12-2. You've oh. ah, ah, ah. shoot him, shoot no. him. <sighs> Uh, you, I mean, you defended the point a couple of yeah. times. There you see me just slashing in the air. Yeah. <laughs> 13 and 2, you yeah. are dominating. Down. 
Oh, we'll see if you can grab the ball there. Oh, he already got the Maybe you want to hang out here and, and see if the ball spawns back here. Oh, two piece! Hello! <laughs> what, what? <laughs> nice. And put on the stim. Yeah, and then yeah. cover. Use the head glitch. The head glitch? Yeah. What's when that? You're behind cover. Oh. It's, it's a cover where. It, the correct thing is when you're behind a cover and you can only see the head. Yeah. So then people have to headshot you to kill, kill you, makes it harder for them to kill you. Right, right. So finding good spots like that, where you can look over with your gun, and it's really hard for them to kill you. I thought you meant like I meant a glitch, like yeah. You know, uh, there's actually been some talk be. about that recently, where some people are saying like uh, maybe we should find another name for it because it's basically cover, but because yeah. it's not really a glitch. But, uh, oh, he was using cloak there. Oh, oh there he is. I think they're actually doing. There. Oh. <laughs> Two against one, non fair. See, he's using a silencer, <laughs> so he didn't pop up in your mini map. Where yeah. I, I'm, begin, I'm beginning to use that almost every time where I, I use that parabolic mic or whatever it's called for, to then. Uh, oh, grab it, grab it. Yeah, mm. I'm not sure the right. Where am I supposed to go? Ah! That way. Oh, you I stabbed can. him! <laughs> throw, it, throw, it, throw it to the left, left, left. Left. Jump. Oh, oh. no, no, I missed! Yeah! <laughs> DDoS! <laughs> and then respawn, see if you have time. Okay, you had a UAV right. as well. Good job! Cool! I'm starting to like this game. <laughs> <laughs> I see your points. I think you were doing quite well. I love it, you just threw it on the floor and said, anybody <laughs> yeah. wants it, pick it back up and throw it in. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> I just, no, alright. Still in the bottom, but... Yeah, it was still... Uh, well, you were also dominating. The, if you were on the other team, you wouldn't have been on the bottom. No, you know? no. So, At uh, least I'm going with that excuse. Yeah, I think <laughs> that's good. Ranked up. Specialist. Ooh. Like the sniper. And halfway to the next. Yeah. All right, try to uh, go out of this. Let's yeah. see if we can... Uh, maybe let me do that. I'll right, see yeah, if yeah. I can invite people go. into this. Uh, let's see, where do we invite friends is why. No, the thing that always screws me over with this is that I'm like X on a PlayStation and X on an Xbox is different. Yeah. Uh, so let's see, who did we have before that it actually invited us? Before I, I got myself a Xbox 360 controller for my yeah. PC, I, I had this, um, this conversion software that basically mimicked um, the driver of the Xbox for yeah. the PlayStation. Okay. And then I had to print oh. out a picture of my PlayStation controller yeah, yeah. with the, the buttons because when you hit like QTEs and stuff like that, yeah, it's, it's like, terrible. Whoa, what the hell? The worst I've heard was someone who, uh, you know, is used to playing on Xbox mm. and uh, they then played uh, Destiny on uh, PS4 and it said, did it say, it said X to do something and he's like, I'm pressing X. <coughs> oh, a X to equip. A weapon. Right, right. And he's like, I'm pressing X. No, you're not. And then he dismantled a weapon. So, and he told, like, uh. there was the first time he'd gotten an ex like a legendary weapon. And then a guy was just holding a square instead, which dismantles yeah. it. So he <laughs> lost that guy and was like, oh my God. Where was oh, Iceman? Yes. That wasn't even one on our friends list. No? Was it maybe a new friend, friend request? Maybe, maybe he just did so good that he's like, damn. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not even going to, you know. Bother that guy. Let's 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 see if we can use the invite. Let's you know what? Let's join his game. See what happens. Yeah. Be cool. If that works. Did that work? Maybe it's not active anymore. You're gonna take over and, and show us some stuff. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think you should uh, get some practice. In. I'm 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 liking this role of just pretending that I'm good. <laughs> that I mean, have, actually having to prove. Yeah, it. you sound like a uh. sound like an absolute master. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I I can't get that to work. So okay. I think let's try. Um, let's do hard point. Hard points? And that would be really good with nades. Yeah, okay. When they're in the points. Cool. cool. Uh, maybe uh, next time, let's take a look. Maybe you can unlock new stuff. Maybe. Right, yeah. Check out the, the sniper. I think if you have unlocked more attachments, you should probably put on third one instead of having that mm. uh, laser thing. Yeah, yeah. That's actually not a bad idea. Because I use that, I, I don't use that gun on all. It's, it's it's also the bow is the best gun, yeah. so use that. <coughs> it's the new new tube noob tube. Yeah. <laughs> well it's but it's not a cheap gun like the new tube. No. 
Um, so let's see. Let's have a question here. If, if Nick, if you only have fifty dollars, I guess it counts for you as well. Which game would you buy this year? You can only buy one mm. game this year. Well, fifty is evil because most new games are sixty, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you can't pick any of the big ones. Oh, thermal. Yeah. Which new game? That's a. Uh, I don't know. That's I, a I tough would probably. One. It would be tough for me between. Uh, if I hadn't played any of them, I'd probably have gone with Infamous because. I wouldn't want to miss that. Yeah. On that, I would be between uh, Call of Duty and Destiny. For me, in the end, I might exit. I would probably have to pick Destiny. I've played that more and have, have more have more fun with that. Mm. See you in a month. How I'm feeling about this. Yeah. I don't really know how to answer that question. It's, uh, Do you have a favorite game so far this year? What's your game of the year? No pressure. <laughs> My game of the year. Um, that, was a, that was an enemy shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, you sh you're mailing way too much. I know. It's just when I see them anywhere close to me, yeah. I, I go for the melee. But yeah. I think um, it depends. I, I like. I'm really curious to see how. Ah, there we go. You got him. I think you've got more melee kills than me in this game because <laughs> yeah. I've gotten like one. Right. <laughs> There's the hard point. Nade into that roof. No, on the right. On the right. See, uh, that one. Just right. the yellow ah. area thing. Ah. Oops. <laughs> so that's the area. If you run into it there, you will contest it and they won't earn points. Yeah. They're in a point per second. I think. And it, it's just rotated, uh, so you probably want to capture on the right. You can capture Down right. There. It's in that building, actually, right there. Getting some points. Oh. <sighs> And actually running into that, as you see, a kill is 50 points. Running yeah. into a capture point gives you 150. A kill in the, that area gives you 125 points. So you run in, get a kill. Cool. A lot of good players don't play a team deathmatch. They instead play a game like Hardpoint. Mm -hmm. And then they do what is called juggling the hill. So you run into the, to the zone and mm -hmm. run back out. Right. And then right. You, have an, you don't get points again unless an enemy is captured. So you let an enemy capture it. And run run in, in, kill him. Yeah. You get 150 for the capturing it, 125 for the for the kill. Yeah. And that's a way quicker way of ranking up and getting kill streaks instead of having to get 50 points per kill. Nice <coughs> it is interesting to see how the criminal <laughs> mind works. <Yeah. laughs> Enemy UAV online. Yeah, if I only had. If I, if I could only buy one game before Christmas, I think it would have to be... And it's like the whole year, so it's all, all yeah, the games all, you bought this year you lost. Yeah. Um, GTA V on the new... Oh, yeah, yeah. that's a good choice, actually. Yeah. Especially with the first person mode. Have you played through the, the old I, version? No, I haven't actually oh, tried yeah, it. Oh, yeah, then I totally I see haven't that. Let, I haven't tried it even. So now the hard point is rotating. Yeah, that's somewhere to our... Jeez. In the left, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a good choice. I swear, and we're streaming that next week. Um, cool. So that should be fun. I'm really looking forward to, to seeing that as a guy. Nice. Come back. Come back. You don't want that on your screen. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, oh, that was, you got into this late. Because yeah. uh, what they've added in this game, which I think is great, is for games like this and Domination, where one spawn in some maps might be better, even though it rotates. You play half the time, and then you uh, have yeah, a half switch over. Yeah. Right, yeah, so you don't get it's that. Actually a good There's mechanic. a couple of maps where you, the team actually spawns in the first time, yeah. and then it's sort of unfair. Because you know, no matter how good the development team is at level design, it's almost impossible to yeah. make and even, both sides even if exactly. it isn't, then at least you get rid of that excuse of like, oh, you yeah, started a good yeah. side. Or exactly. Whatever. All right, go back. Mm -hmm. I think you should go out of this lobby. Yeah. Because first of all, you got a supply drop. <coughs> cool. Press yes to leave yes. lobby. Yes, I learned it. It's a oh, okay. Right. So, so you just press it, and then uh -huh. they even have the animation and everything. Oh. It's like opening the chest. Elite. Oh, you got elite. Ooh That's the rarest kind you can get, actually. Hello. I'm equipping that. I yeah. think it's I already did equip it. it. Yeah, if you go into your guy and maybe uh -huh. check it out. Operator. Customization. Yeah, I think I have it on already, yeah. Try to go in and see the other ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're right. equipped. Yeah. yeah, cool, nice. I don't have elite in that. <laughs> I actually have only got like three elite items. Yeah, but now all of the success that I've 
Yeah, had but that's the thing. Now, it's it's totally it. random. I think I don't know if there's a bigger chance of getting elite if you do well. Mm. But uh, how long? I think it's about forty to forty-five minutes. You'll get a supply drop, no matter how well you do. All right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Another thing: try to go into your custom class. We've time for one more map, but we have time to set up your class. Maybe you want to ah custom class, yeah, uh, and I check think out see the see if uh, you have more attachments for the gun, for instance. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this ones. one. Um, more attachment for Oh, another thing. Let me just show you something quickly. Uh, uh, ah. So when you go in here, yeah. If you, see if you have it for any of So this is the bow. There's actually 10 versions of the bow in the game with different skins and maybe a built-in attachment. If right. you had them, you would have them on the side. We can go to the side and then yeah. you would have those. So I kind of hoped you would get one of those, but it doesn't look like we'll, we have unlocked that. Yeah, we haven't played a lot. Uh, oh, so yeah. You have a sound, so I don't know yes. if you want to use that. I want to use that. Okay. I definitely want to use that. Because they keep killing See, now much. you've used one too many points, so you have to All drop right. a score streak or a grenade or uh -huh. something. Maybe I'll uh, delete this one. Yeah. Because I never get. Yeah, you haven't you know, gotten that. I haven't gotten a score streak yet, so this may actually Good help move. me get one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, Go for uh, it. Fine match. Or should we try and find some I think to play with? Or? Uh, let's just play one. All I right. think. Uh, you should either <coughs> try momentum, momentum or one of the ones we played. Maybe try that. That's an old, old game line. mode they've p taken back from World of War, mm. uh, which was called War, where you have five flags instead of three like domination, but they're sort of on a line. Mm. It, it's a lot like Battlefield, where you s start with two capped each, I think, yeah. and then you go for the middle one. If I capture the third one with my team, then I have to go for the next one. So you try to capture all five, so you sort of move up. It's about the momentum. Right, right, okay. Uh, where if you if the other team gets one, you move back on my side, right. and then we keep going back and forth. And are they aligned in a, like, a line, or is it like, Basically, you know? So it could be a little bit circular, but there's yeah. one that's closer to my spawn, yeah, you know, okay. that way. So I'm just going to go for that one. Yeah, so we'll see how it is. You see, we have on one the top flag. Yeah, you have none. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that was good. Now. So you, oh. that's the thing with joining later, I hate. Yeah. You know, they're sort of dominating you, but that's fine. We'll go into a new one. Fair enough. Yeah. They're just spawn killing now. You can, of course, whenever you see these kill cam, always press X and sort of skip it. Yeah. You're taking a flag now. What can also happen sometimes in these is they, they let you keep taking that flag so they can just kill you in your spawn. Right. Hmm. And that's sort of the problem with this. Did it's, I just it's basically get a never ending? Did I just get a positive kill death ratio? Well, we'll, we'll see at the end <laughs> of the match. <laughs> I think I'm up for now. Maybe we we'll just quit. Well, you did get a two piece before. <laughs> so grenades are so hard. Ah no. Game. Yeah, it's you know sometimes it's really really easy oh, so to judge. So that ju was first sign. Mm. Yeah. Maybe. Sometimes it's really easy to judge the distances that you're about to throw the grenade, but this, I, I kind of feel like it just goes. Yeah, it does. Know, just Sniping is so hard in this game with people moving so yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. You did go positive oh four and three. <laughs> I didn't give them time to catch up. That's good. <laughs> so do you want to play this again and try one of the other modes? What, what, what do you I, feel I like? Think, I think maybe I want to... Check this out. Yeah, you know, because I don't, I don't feel like I actually experienced it no, no. right now. And see here on the left, you can vote. Yeah, and you can also. I don't know if you want to try to check out uh, the. You can see the other guys. I think if you go to the right, you can see the yeah. other guys in the lobby. So you can see his guns and right. stuff. Cool. There's a lot of customization, and you can see how rare their stuff is, and you can yeah. get cool stuff. And it's like if you play the, I think, yeah, I was about to say you can be zombies. I think if you get to the zombie wave in the co-op mode. Yeah. If you get to a certain amount of through a certain amount of waves, you, waves you get to some mode, you can unlock a zombie head, and it's nice. a lot of cool stuff for that. And he had a special bell, bell there. He had a spe special weapon uh, there, tactical. So he had a different yeah, version one. of that. Right. And he has some good stuff and bad stuff. There's and there's not nothing like that. The one is better than the other. It's just maybe it has a bullet in silence, and maybe it has faster reload, but yeah. worse accuracy or better fire rate would often make it more recoil. You know, so. I, I really like that, and there's something to go for. In, uh. It's also really cool just, you know, 
to be able to play the game without ever meeting somebody who looks exactly like yeah. you. Yeah. You know. And I think what's what's really cool about it uh, as well is <coughs> for people who are not like if you're good, you're like oh, I want to get all the cool stuff. But that's the same for if you're not doing too well. If you're yeah. not getting all the kills, you still have something to play for. Mm. Like let me get a cool looking guy and let me get some cool yeah. guns and make make the person make the character yeah. one's own. Because you know? now it's not just playing for the kill death ratio. No. It's, it's something else to play for, which is cool. There was one thing that bothered me in the in the uh, older games was that sometimes uh, players uh, players who had uh, played for a long time, of course, unlocked all of the guns. Yeah. And for a noob, even though it was a really skilled player, it's he the, didn't stand a chance. No, it's a disadvantage. Yeah. I think he stood a chance, but it's definitely harder. Yeah. Um, I think they actually fixed that pretty well in Ghost, because you right? the first time you go in, you didn't have a lot. Um, but there you would earn points and you could choose which guns you would unlock for those points. So you could buy the good gun first. You, of course, then could buy the best gun in each class to begin with. Right. And then when you start prestiging, you would just unlock the stuff that you liked. Here you do start with the best gun, but you're back to the problem, I think, of I just prestiged and I have the ballot right away, so that's fair. But I am back to having to unlock the grip and the quick draw. So until I do that, which didn't take me more than a couple of games, then I'm at a, at a disadvantage. But if you're not great, it might take you forever to do that. Yeah, the quick draw, which I think is very important to run, is right. 10 headshots. Yeah, And that can be very difficult to get for some people. And I, so I don't like that part. Uh, they have done other stuff though. And it, it does add something that you have something to play for that like, oh, you want to unlock the next gun. Uh, where in Ghost, there was less to play for because you just sort of bought the gun you wanted. Yeah. And you had plenty yeah. of points quickly. Um, nice but there's another cool thing actually that you have added. Uh, support to your UAV now. For some of the later <coughs> ones, like the Paladin or the Warbird, you can actually add another thing to it that's called, uh, where you make it into a co-op mm. kill streak. So let's say I'm doing really well and I have the Warbird, and I've attached that. That means it costs another 300 points or something. Then when I launch it, one from my team can jump into it with me. So if you're not doing too well, then I, you can like get to experience some of those kill streaks. Right, just by having someone on your team do well. That's kind of cool. Yeah, so they've done a lot of things like that that I think will make it more fun for people who are yeah. doing well. Without it being some of the old stuff that I hated, where you would have death streaks, where people would like drop a nade when they die, and like all these things that would just annoy everyone, yeah, on yeah, YouTube yeah. and all that stuff. So that was quick. They captured your flags very yeah. quickly. Uh, I think we have time for one more. If you want to, yeah, maybe try a different uh, mode then. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't particularly. Good at that one. <laughs> no, and, and I also I think that's still a little bit fluky. Uh, and so yeah. which one is uh, like we've tried uplink momentum and hardpoint. Uh, I those think are the only ones. That I, I think the other ones recognize. you could try that could be fun is capture the flag or search and destroy. Capture the flag, classic. There's classic modes actually, which I don't think you picked. Where hmm. then you play without the extra abilities if people want. Right. To okay. The one big thing that's missing, I feel, in these game modes or gun game. Mm. I just the first time in years I remember was I maybe wasn't there in the beginning last year, but they put it back. So I'm hoping they put it back, where you get a kill and then rotate to the next gun. And the yeah, first yeah, guy through twenty was, guns. Yeah, I always use that as like a warm up. I yeah. tend to do that. It's a good way of trying different guns as well. And the other thing was when I prestiged and got back to the one, and I, I tend to have to play a couple of matches to unlock the guns I wanted again. Then I would play gun game because everyone is evil there, equal there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everyone has the same guns. It's yeah. fair for everyone. So that, that was really cool as well. All right, capture the flag. So this is the one where also you know, you have that class. But I have a class here that I, that's actually not running uh, the bell or an assault rifle mm. because you're faster with an SMG. So I have a class that has the SMG on it, and then I have two exo abilities on. I have cloak where I can come in almost invisible, right. and I have the uh, the overclock which makes you run fast. So when I want to go for the objective and don't go for the kills, try to sneak up to the flag, then I put on the cloak and the, the overclock, so I just run super fast. Yeah. Uh, that's really fun, and I like how you can customize so much more with these abilities and everything now than you've been able to in the past. Usually in these kind of capture the flag games, capture I'm flag. much more of a flag capture than yeah. I am a killer. And I, th I think that's great about these modes. I mean, it's not that's something that's only in Call of Duty, but I love when there's modes, when people play for it, where you have guys who are good at killing, but if you're not good at that, you can still do well and yeah. you know, help your yeah. team. And that, you know, that's more important than the kills, because 
It's great that you have people who are killing, but if you don't capture the flags, it doesn't really matter. Where'd it go? There you go. Arrgh. Come on. Did I get him? No. Nope. No, you're way too far. Around. There we go. Reload. Reload. Nice. I did get him though. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was actually another guy, but uh. Shoop. And you're getting good at using the ability as well. Of course, yeah, the thing I is, you only have it. that one ability once per life. Right. So you can't use it again. But mm. a lot of them you can like use a little bit like the shield and then stop it, and then you have the rest of the sort of. Uh, right, like battery ability. life. Yeah. Or, yeah. And you, there's actually a perk the way you can put on a bigger battery for your exo. So oh. you have a longer ability time, which can be really good. Ah. I think I have that on my flag running thing, so I have right. more speed and more cloak. I'm usually more of a, a semi-automatic player, but that's, yeah. uh, I don't think that's going to work here with a no. controller. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I feel like all Call of Duty games are either leaning towards Assault oh. rifles or like ARs or SMGs, yeah. uh, and this is definitely more of an AR game. Ghost started out a bit of an AR game, but then turned into a very much an SMG game. Um, it was basically the, the joke is everyone was running. It was like uh, in competitive, the joke was your it was a four vector game. Was everyone was running the the vector, uh, so that was a bit sad. But, uh, I feel like the SMG is still viable, uh, but there's a lot of talk about maybe banning the bell or bo bo uh, boosting the, the SMGs. All right. Or just balancing it a little bit better. Just, yeah. uh, you know, making it less powerful, maybe. Yeah, that's the thing. But it's, the problem is that that's what they want for competitive. It's not that big of a problem in, um, in public matches. So if you just ban that gun in competitive, then... But it would be nice if they nerfed it a little bit. On the other hand, I always feel like there's something about, I don't remember who said it, someone said something about that it's better to boost other guns than nerfing something. Because yeah, yeah. if you play with the bow now and then they take it down, you feel like they've taken something away from you. Yeah, exactly. Like if they boost the other guns, you sort of feel like it's they, gotten better. Yeah, like you feel, you oh, something. this is even more awesome now. Uh, but it, it is easier nerfing one gun instead of boosting all other 35 guns in the game. Okay, one thing that's really cool about this level is that <sighs> you start in one area, and as you can see now, you're forced to move out because there's actually, I think, a lava flow or something coming. So now you have to run into the other area and right. play. If you stay in that first area, you will die by lava. Oh, wrong win! Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right about that. Oh, that's right good. So you the... don't you don't get into the second one. You're absolutely right about the um, the. Uh, it's it's preferable to to boost the other guns. Then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But maybe it makes sense here to nerf that one gun mm -hmm. if it's only one gun. And if everybody agrees on it, but nobody's... Yeah. In, you know, no, everybody's and, and one more thing we'll say about Sledgehammer this year is it's probably the best dev support we've ever had for Call of Duty. They're mm -hmm. listening a lot. And it's, and it's not that you just do what everyone says, but they seem very active and good at reading forums and Twitter and, yeah. and, and listening to feedback and not being like, this is our game, and still being, you know, knowing that some things they know better instead of just listening to everyone, because that doesn't help either. A tip here that yeah. that for um, that is how I also need to learn to play different than Destiny is. In Destiny, you're sort of really fast with when you're aimed in. Yeah, yeah. But here, it's really good to aim in and shoot. And if you sort of if he's getting away from you, you need to scope out. Yeah, or scope out. Yeah. Unless you get the attachments that's called stock, then you can move faster. Uh, because people can move so fast, you sort of can't keep up with it. Oh, nice, another name. Let's hope I get someone. No, I didn't get someone. Nope. All right, while we, you're finishing this round up, uh, maybe I should talk a little bit about what we're doing next week. So Monday, we're playing uh, Far Cry 4. It should be a lot of fun. Another shooter. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, as we talked about before, Rasmus is going to be back playing World of Warcraft and talking about BlizzCon. And of course, we'll talk about World of Warcraft and what he thinks of it so far. Wednesday is... Little Big Planet, Little Big Planet Ooh. Three. Uh, so we'll play. Uh, that's actually a, like a week before it's released. So that's a week, this is the worst kill streak ever. I hate that. <laughs> that's, they should remove that because that's super. Yeah, annoying. the hack thing. It's yeah. Just, and I see when you're back, it's still there. This on your really? face, and see then it's like rebooting. And he, I think he put on one where it lasts longer. Can you can run around, but like he lost everything. I don't know if you can uh, boost now. Can you do that? Um, okay, you can. Oh uh, yeah. I think you can put one like a. 
as we talked about, you can like change your kill streaks. Yeah. I think you can put one on where like your exo ability doesn't work, and it's terrible. And it's not that hard to get. That is super annoying. That is game breaking. I feel yeah. almost. You can put on a perk that makes this not work anymore. Huh? Yeah. But I think that's awesome. in that third spot where I run toughness and blast yeah. pressure. Yeah. But oh well. And then Thursday we are playing uh, GTA next week. Uh, I think we'll play a little bit of single player and then jump into the online mode. The oh, oh, too bad. Uh, and then Friday is Snooze and Geo Friday Nights. Next week is Destiny. All right. All right. Let's see. I think you're down two, so let's see what happens. See, the thing with the silencer is for me that I, I think, you know, it's always a balanced thing. What do you want to do? But I feel like the silencer is makes the guns weaker in this game than yeah. it has been yeah. in some other games. So I, I tend not to run it. And also you can have that mic thing on that before you knew if you had a silence on, people would know where you are in the radar. But now you don't know if they're running that thing that makes you pop up in the radar anyway. All right. So I tend not to, to use it. Oh, that one just went out of map. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Put down a cannon. And then he just jumped. Yeah, that's smart. That's the cannon. Oh, it's not an auto one, though. You have to control it. So I'd run down to the left. Run down to the left. Oh, flying him. He ran down there. Maybe get behind it. You can jump behind it. Boost in. Come on. If you can. And then double knife it. If you knife it twice as you die. Yeah, it's done. Ah. Awesome. That was 150 points. You're actually very close to getting your UAV. Just need an assist. No, come on. Somebody kill that guy. <laughs> That's another cool gun. The AMR is pretty good, and it it actually has a 3D printer in the in the gun, so that prints its bullets. Oh, nice. You have nice. the UAV now, so right on the D-pad. Right on the D-pad. Oh, damn it. All right, right on the D-pad. It's friend. <laughs> I just tried to knife of uh, friendly. Nice. Better good job, be bro. Sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. What are friends for if not to, you know, keep each other on the toes? I think you've done decently. And Call of Duty is a tough one to for jump first on timer, for a you know? controller, yeah. And even like this one was hard for me in the beginning because it's so like. So chaotic, it's so fast now. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of things going on. And different modes and... Oh no! And that's, the, the, of course, the thing with, with the AR is, you know, you're not as fast with it, but I feel like the range and the damage of this gun is just so better yeah. than the SMGs. All right. I think that was actually a yeah. tie. No, we lost. Oh, you lost. Yeah, we lost. Yeah. Okay. All right, but I think that's it for today then. Yeah. Uh, thanks for playing, Ingvi. Thank you for having me. And awesome. uh, we'll be back next week with uh, with more more cool streams and games. Yes. Uh, so until then, just have a nice weekend and uh, we'll see you around. Enjoy it. Care package inbound.